Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in November, if you want, I'm kind of torn because on the one hand, November will forever be a very important month in Red Velvet's history and everything. But on the other hand, it also means that we only have Red Velvet every other November. Anyways, all that to say that the time has come. Their time has come. And I have to say, SM's releases this past, this past month, has been nothing but freaking amazing. Obviously, I'm talking about Espa's latest comeback, but I'm also talking about Timmy, in which I know a lot of you have been asking me to react to, and I did, and I did. It is coming. I did mention it quickly over on my community tab, but look, it's right here. It's right here. I know this isn't about Red Velvet, but I'm just making a small parenthesis to let some of you guys know that it is coming. Since it is in a catching up on K-pop video format, it will be over on my Patreon first, and then a week after, it will be uh, on YouTube. So yeah, my video here is in the final stages of being edited, right? But as soon as it is ready, I will be putting it over on Patreon for the second and third tier. So for those who would like an early access to the video, then the link to my Patreon will be below. But yeah, closing that parenthesis, uh, SM has not been playing around with those more like dark, sinister, bone-chillingly good music. And I'm also bringing this up because I listened to the album medley for this and holy sh The snippets they give us of each song on the album sound like an absolute masterpiece. And it's well known that Red Velvet's B tracks are like freak, like treasures, right? They're like gems and everything. But this album specifically, also the album pictures, the teasers and everything, they, oh, please. The, the album bag, are you insane when i saw them i was so freaking close like they were every album were, was in my were in my uh basket the only reason why i didn't go through with my purchase is because i'm going to vietnam at the end of the year and i have to pay for everything <gasps> you guys i just got really excited there is an sm town in where is it is it in Hung? is it in district 7 in saigon if there's any of my vietnamese people out there is the sm town in the lotte building in Phu Mi Hung or not. I have a vague memory of seeing this. And so I might just buy the album over there. Anyway, so enough talking. I've got in the English captions on Chill Kill's Go. Okay. Did the ringing. What's that TXT song that's called this? You know, the ringing in the ear? Again. Dude. Like, get out of here. Us with them, honestly. Why are they making murder kind of girly pop? <laughs> what? Hey, the actress really pop up. What the?
Damn. Oh. Okay. It's like gasoline. Oh, they're firing the whole thing up. Yep. Jesus Christ, that gorgeous. But they're really, they really said like murder but make it cute. This is cute recycle! This is them, huh? They're like, F it was worth it. You know what? <laughs> this is giving, I will. Dude, whoever made this is a genius. This typography, whatever you call it, this fund. Oh my god. Okay, this is giving, I would do it all over again. And I will have as much fun as I did the first time. This is giving, I have absolutely no regret. Not gonna lie, I could not have imagined such chorus with such a concept. I know a lot of people are tired of hearing other people say, oh, I wanted a cycle 2.0, right? And I learned my lesson a long time ago. I haven't really been uh, expecting a cycle 2.0 here at all actually but out of everything that i could have imagined for the chorus to sound so girly pop and like yes yeah, let's have fun uh murdering someone i did not see that coming <laughs> it's like yet another example of the red and the velvet together so on the first is like this i'm not even gonna lie to you the verses to me are like <sighs> they're like god level whereas the the chorus on its own is enjoyable. The thing is, would I have put them together necessarily if that was up to me? Not necessarily, you know? I definitely think this is gonna be one of those songs where I'm just gonna have to grow used to and accustomed to the change. Because like I just said, you know, individually the chorus is great. Individually the, with the verses are freaking incredible. Put them together, I'm kind of like having a whiplash moment almost. Like this is so good. Like this kind of like more slow, you know, SM does r and so fucking good. This almost sounds like a Christmas song. That part at least. So like the whole thing feels cold until you reach the, the chorus. So like it's very cold. It's almost also sound like those music boxes, you know, with the ballerina. And it almost sounds like a Christmas carol here. And here, suddenly... Ow. That's what I'm saying. Right here, that's when it starts feeling warm again. Whereas until then, it's felt very cold and like very winter. You know when you open a door? when it's winter outside and there's a gush of wind that is like bone chilling the the verses feel like that chill well chill kill you know it feels like this cold wind but once the chorus drops it's suddenly you are in a cabin near the firework place basically and it's suddenly and it's suddenly warm it's got sparks and everything and it feels like it feels super welcoming if that makes sense you, you know this warmth of like being comfortable or, around this fireplace with people that you enjoy just laughter and just good memories being created and everything this is the warmth that the chorus is giving me whereas when you listen to the verses it's the opposite it feels like you are alone in the cold outside and it's scary whereas the chorus 
it's warm, you are in good company. Dude, their voices are insane. Oh, this is so good! I'm telling you, the verses. Also, yeah, the actresses. Mm. Turn the heat up. Mm. I'm telling you, there's different temperature in this song. Did this part right here? Are you kidding me? This is so good. Yeah, it's the 13, obviously. This bridge. Are you insane? Oh, please. And it's just right now my brain cannot get accustomed to the shift of genre, which I appreciate it because I get what they're trying to do. But right now it's like my brain and my heart don't agree. I know that it will grow on me though. There's no doubt in me right now that this will grow on me. I know it will. If you were asking me right now, I would save the verses and drop the chorus in a heartbeat. And I hate to admit it because the chorus is incredibly catchy on its own. On its own! My, my heart and my brain are kind of like being torn apart because I love why they're doing it like this. Because of the intention behind it, it makes me appreciate it a lot more. But right now I know that it's gonna be taking me a little while to get used to how different the vibes are between the chorus and the verses. You know what I have to say? I wished this music video was kind of like, had like a drama version, if that makes sense, where we could actually hear the dialogue and what they're telling each other. I wished this was made into a short movie, if that makes sense, so that we could feel more of the angst, feel more of the build-up of uh, how, how sinister it is, how dark it is, you know, how haunting and daunting it really is. I feel like with such concept, they could have gone a lot, be a lot more beyond. Now, I'm saying this based on like my own preferences. I enjoy music videos like Kim Sejong's music video, you know, for example, or Kang Daniel's music video, where they're, they're kind of like, music video slash short movies where it feels like you're watching a blockbuster. When you hear them talk, when you hear, you know, sound effects and whatnot. I personally enjoy this kind of music video. I know that for some people, they won't. That kind of like will not allow them to actually enjoy the music, but to each their own, I guess. I wished personally that they had release alongside with it, or maybe they will. I don't know actually. Will they? A drama version of this. Yeah, I'll see how it grows on me uh, in a few days, I guess. So yeah, anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.